Alrighty guys, it's Saturday and trying to do fuck all today. <laughs> but I, well, except for one thing. So Brandon had uh, somebody wanted to help him move a printing press. Yeah, big giant old fucker. Yeah, old cast iron printing press. Yeah, it just snaps down. Um, it was already down. Cool. So as you, you can tell, 30. he's all greasy. You got 30. Dad's all greasy. <laughs> so we had to 30. bring it out of a basement. It was cast iron. We had to bring it out of a basement upstairs. The house, the house is like, okay, you got your house here, right? Like that. And then you got the fence. Your garage is right here. And the fence goes around that way with no gate. Yep. The door to the basement's right here. So we had to carry it around the house, through the garage, <laughs> out the laneway to where the trailer was parked out front. Yep. <laughs> it was <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> but hey, for an hour's work, got 25 bucks. And this is how we received it. Do you want to show them yours? Yeah. Okay. You got the yellow one. Oops. That's right. All right. This is how we received our, our payment. Ta -da! Brandon. She didn't know your name, so she didn't know. Yeah, write the I name was on the I board. was just the helper. Yeah. <laughs> but. What do we got? Thank you. Brandon. Thank you for helping us move the press. We are so grateful for all your hard work. Cheers, Gail. Gail and Guy, I think. I think. I <laughs> money, 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 and... Oh. oh, yeah. You got two different ones. I got... Yeah, you got the same... You yeah. got two of these. No. Okay, so you got gingerbread, citrus, rhubarb jam, and red currant jelly. In a pretty little bag, so you'd be able to get your sweetheart a little something to put it in that bag. <laughs> and I got... Red currant jelly. That's awesome because I eat a lot of jam here. I always keep a loaf of bread and peanut jam. butter. <laughs> jam. So, and another red currant jelly. And. Your card too. Oh. Pretty much. And because they didn't know my name, it says thank you. Thank you for helping us move the press. We are so grateful. It's the exact same thing. Yep, yep. <laughs> Maybe they printed it on the printing press. <laughs> but that's cool. 25 bucks for an hour's work. A little bit of back straining, but that's all right. Put it with the rest. And we're golden. Sweet. And now he's got to move a, bring a ladder for the neighbor. To a job site. Ladder. Extension ladder. And it fits Roll bar. Oh yeah, it fits in between perfect. the lights. Perfect between the lights. <laughs> it was built that way. It was designed. Yep. It was designed to work. CNC. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Precision. Yeah. What is that? AutoCAD. Yep. <laughs> Through a CNC machine. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Precision cut fit a ladder perfect. <laughs> Actually, I think it was more of, okay, I'm about this wide. Yeah, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, we're good. <laughs> All righty. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so we had a little emergency the other night. A buddy of mine showed up with his truck, and uh, his, uh, he had a u universal joint problem. Um, sorry, I didn't get to video it. It was... It was hell. <laughs> but check out the condition of this universal joint. And he drove for a long time, like probably months like this. And I'm surprised it didn't like cause some serious damage. But here's the universal joint that I took out of his truck. <laughs> Absolutely done. I have no idea how, how his drive shaft held together. But yep. Yep is absolutely killed but uh these type of uh, universal joints on the um drive shaft side it it's a uh, nylon injected there's two holes on either side of the the yoke and they inject nylon right into here and it makes the seal so it doesn't come in or out 
So what you got to do is you got to heat it up with a propane torch or something and then it just spews out like a worm and then when it's hot you can just press it out. But that was that. Absolutely crazy. But we got her done. He brought the new one. Anyway guys, you wanted to know about uh, my speed dating venture. Well, it was pretty awesome. It was, it's just like a ski lift. Let me get set up here. Alrighty, so it was just like a ski lift that goes um, over top of all the rides and stuff like that. Um, well, not really over top of them, but... And uh, so we went there and there was like um, probably seven or eight different uh, ladies and like eight or nine different guys. And so I ended up going over to the smoking area and having a smoke and then I happened to look over and everybody was in a group by the ride where I should be so I go over there and uh, <laughs> right away off the hop I see this one girl and uh, we started chatting and the one lady goes comes over and she's like oh you two know each other and I was like oh yeah we were banging each other like 15 years ago <laughs> <laughs> so it was absolutely hilarious running into somebody that uh, <laughs> I had some fun with years, many years ago. And uh, so, yeah, that was cool. And a couple of the other chicks were really nice. And uh, um, so at the end of this uh, ride, you gave, you judged, uh, so you went on the ride with each each different girl and uh, you know you chat shot the shit and everything like that and then uh, um, at the end of the ride you mark down on your paper would you you know date this person again whatever and uh, so actually you just went across to one side with one girl you come back with another go with another girl the other way and so on and it, it was just fun, you know, just the different people you meet and stuff like that from all walks of life. And uh, it was actually really, really fun. Um, so, me, I'm, I, I'm, I don't care. I just, at the end of each ride, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> you know, so basically I said yes to every chick that was there, right? And uh, so I did get an email from two different girls and... Um, and the girl, uh, that I knew from many years ago, so, <laughs> we'll be talking again, <laughs> we'll be seeing each other again, let's say, <laughs> but yeah, it was absolutely fun, had a great time, so at the end of it all, a uh, lot of the people left. So I was like, hey guys, you know, let's go for a coffee in one of the tents at the fair. So I bought everybody a coffee and shot the shit for a while. One guy that was there, he had like five kids. So I was like, holy crap. I said, you need a real woman for that. <laughs> but yep. But other than that, I had a time in my life. I don't care. Um, no problem saying yes to every chick. Hey, you want to go out somewhere and have coffee or beer or whatever? I'm up for it. I don't care. <laughs> Alrighty, cheers guys. <laughs> Have a great weekend.